I was involved with meetings um, kind of between IS and the academics themselves to try and work out how Moodle could be used. Um, and then I was involved um, with the training of the academic staff, visiting lecturers um, and administrative staff. Um, and then I've been on hand to try and do some troubleshooting um, and some one-to-one -one kind of training when people needed some extra help. Um, and also I've helped with the webinars that we've been running uh, for these distance learning students, so using um, Adobe Connect. Um, and I've been involved in the training for that um, and also in the actual recording of those two sessions that we've done so far. I think the thing about working with Moodle is that it really does have to um, be driven by the academics. Um, they are the ones who know their students, they know their course content and really anyone who's working in education technology or IS can help from a kind of a technical point of view but in terms of how they really want it to be used and what they want to do with it, that really does have to come from the academics and so I think it's really important that people are involved from the beginning um, and you know have an understanding of how Moodle can be used so that they can then look at how it can be best used with their students and with their course material. The Moodle technology has done, um, we've been able to use a number of different um, uh, tools um, including uh, discussion forums, um, online uh, submissions of work, um, the webinars that could go into that and just the general resources and things that were going in there. We had a few teething problems with the Adobe Connect um, stuff which we've managed to sort out now but um, we did have to have a couple of practices with that so I probably advise anyone if you're going to do a live webinar do try and practice mm. beforehand um, because it is very nerve-wracking actually to be trying and relying on the on the technology so it's important to try and make sure that you're confident to, to do that so uh, but generally yes I think the technology with Moodle was was absolutely fine and and you know has basically been available for these students 24-7, which is what they need on a distance learning course. They were very for it from the beginning. They really saw this as um, a, 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 an excellent way of uh, providing a distance learning course um, because they were aware and had tried to use city space in the past. Um, and they'd had some success with that, but they could see how much more flexible Moodle was. Um, in providing um, materials and support for students. It just had more functionality for them. So I found them um, very open, very, you know, willing to ask questions and, um, and Evelyn has done a lot of work in setting it all up and putting it all um, onto Moodle, which now can be used basically each, each year from now. From what I've understood and from the things that I've seen on the discussion forums, um, the, the student response has been really, really positive, really excellent. Um, I know that the, they're looking at having a cohort this um, September, which they don't normally do, they normally have in January, but they've had some word of mouth um, people on the course telling other people about the course and that kind of thing. So they've actually got a lot of people who are interested, which I suppose is probably the best the best form of advertising there is um, but uh, you know some of the the feedback has been good I know the administrator has had some positive emails coming through um, and not too many kind of problems technical problems and things so obviously students finding it easy to use as well I think the best thing to do is um, really go in and speak to the academics and the administrators, um, really get to know what it is the course needs um, and where possible try to be as responsive as possible, you know, if there's a problem. 
um, you know, trying to, to deal with it as soon as possible because often Evelyn might need some help immediately because she's got a specific amount of time where she can actually do some work on Moodle and the rest of the time she's, she can't. Um, so that's not always possible, um, but trying to, to get that good relationship to going with, um, with the whole team, I think, has been the key to the success on this programme. Thank you.